I got a call from the guidance counselor to say that he was stabbed. Mm -hmm. He said it was nothing serious, but after him going to the hospital in Alexandra and they assessed it and stitched it, it was something that needed plastic surgery. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. If you feel impatient today, ground yourself with gratitude. Gratitude for how far you have traveled emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. Gratitude for the strength it took to overcome and triumph at this moment. Gratitude that you are divinely loved, protected, and provided for. Gratitude that you have what it takes to keep going and winning. You are blessed. Why go on my people? Open body, you know, okay? Open body, you know, all right? Yet another Saturday morning, I'm get up and find myself alive. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living. And surely, 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 not amongst the dead. I can tell you something, people. Porridge now and soup later. You understand? Eating healthy, 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 healthy. You think me I be like some man about me? I got to save my money and dead for hungry. And then dead left it and make people fight over it. No, 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 no. Me enjoy my own. But what I'm a bit there now, people. Watch your grand power, go on. Kill or not dead. Or not feel like say me know everybody business. When everybody business just a look for me and a find me. Come and see Abby I send one only for people for ask me. I will really kill her baby father. But Abby keep back and relax now man. Me so until like, I can answer the right which part him lead on right. They they say no. And it me attack people. No one know why they think. I soon tell you. I soon tell you. Right which part him lead on the answers there. But anyway people watch your grand power. Go on. Me go right on the road. Right on the road. So start the news. And when you get now, you're going to get later. Keep back and relax. From here, the nice, I ain't not seen no video. You know, say sitting lay down on the ground. I'm a tough fuck. I show you, man, lay down on the ground right there, there, there. So, the amount of rain where you fall. Me tell the people, them say tiny in them yard. But no, 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 no. Them decide, see, I rode them a take feet. See it there? Dead them dead feet. Three man was gone down at a shop in Clarendon Friday night. Our news tip understand that sometime after 9 pm, a group of people at a shop when unknown assailant opened gunfire at them. You yes, see when this smoke clear? A tree body the man them sit down the lay down pan the ground. Me not gonna be like some people and say me out there. No, 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 me never out there. You understand? Me stick to me believe in a rain or fall, me turn on my yard. I'm a tough fuck my guy, girl bush. But anyway, as soon as we get the bird shirt, we come back and give them the update, okay? A 42-year-old Portmore St. Catherine man has been charged for the alleged rape, bugging and abduction of a 15-year-old girl. Roman Bennett, otherwise called Screw, who lived in the community of Portsmouth, was on Thursday charged with rape, sexual intercourse with a person under 16, sexual touching, abduction of a child under the age of 16 and bugger. Information reaching our news team from the Portmore Police that between November 2021 and December 2022, Bennett was tasked to transport the teen girl to a relative house. It has been alleged that Bennett parked his vehicle on the compound of a music student in the community and fondled the complainant. He also allegedly had sexual intercourse with her on several occasions. A report was made to the police and an investigation was launched. Bennett was subsequently arrested and charged on Thursday. Then we land there now, people. The mother, no, no, nobody in the community. Could have slapped with this boy. Ah, is 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 slap with this, you know. Anyway, I can move on. Cops assigned to the Mount Salem Police Station yesterday seized a permitted weapon during an operation in Jungle District, Mount Salem, St. James. The police reported at about 1.30 p.m. lawmen responding to a fire in the area when an abandoned building was searched. Later, I tell them about that the fire day, okay? According to the police, one Browning single action pistol and 14 rounds of ammo was found on top of the building. No one was arrested in relation to the seizure. Somebody from out of those cars took me put on, you understand? Anyway, now people, like come there, St. James. I can just continue right over St. James. St. James man charged for double murder. Yeah, people, let me tell you how that gone out. A man has been charged for murder after reportedly shot and wounded two men who later succumbed to their injuries at hospital. Charges 25 year old Timothy Spence, otherwise called Jeffrey or Shatter, a labor of Irwin in St. James. 
This a boy, if you get to that point, you understand? Waste, we waste time, I met this a boy, you alive, me tell her the truth. Biggie, that police to the not here. The deceased has been identified as 44 year old Andrew Walters, otherwise called Dudu, a carpenter, and 64 year old Donovan Johnson, a farmer, both of Tucker St. James. Me know say that all them news, and they never get them news, you know? Because them a time, I never had a read the news. You understand? Them a thing I had to hide from, you know? So me tell the people, when they go on, when we go on, them time, yeah. Report from St. James Police that on Tuesday, October 31st, 2017, Walters was at home when he was pounced upon by armed with open gunfire hitting him. The men then made their way onto the roadway where they saw an open gunfire on Johnson who was on the roadside. The gunmen escaped in the community. Both Walter and Johnson succumbed to their injuries at hospital. Spent was taken to the custody on May 19, 2023. Call long this a word up on the road from 2017 and a big idiot police them. Really and truly I tell me said they must go pick him up and carry him in because he tax me as money. Leave scratch free in a make no sense. Anyway. Make I continue. He was taken into custody on May 19, 2023 during a police aid operation and a witness statement was recorded on May 20, 2023, police said. He was charged on Thursday, June 1st during a question and answer session. His court date is being finalized. Right after funeral service. And speaking of funeral service, let me tell you who I get one. Then again, he might not get none. The body of a man who is said to be of unsound mind was yesterday found in a water tank in St. Anne. He has been identified as 64-year-old Paul Clark of Happy News District in Alexandria in the parish. The police reported about 7 o'clock yesterday morning resident detect as foul odor near the tank and went to investigate. During checks, Clark's submerged body was seen inside the catchment. Clark was reported last seen on Monday, May 29. Then queer enough people, keep it from it in the mouth. Keep it vomiting on the mouth. You know, people are drink water from that. They tank they from them that time there. I never know said it by the night. And now no one vomit. Mighty God. The police were called on the body, was retrieved and taken to a funeral home for an autopsy to be conducted. Me say a whole heap of paper so sick out up of that, you know. Me a tell you the truth. But when them sick, we're going to know exactly which party it come from. Anyway, people, me still there sent and The sent and police said they are following strong leads into Thursday fatal shooting of a 90-year-old retiree in Brownstone, St. Anne. Well, and people, well, and well, and well, and this is a pussy that easy for itself. Here, this is one. The information that I have surrounding this incident is that about approximately 4 30 p.m. yesterday, Mr. Downer was at home uh, along with his helper when they were pounced upon by a lone man harm with a firearm. The man entered through an open front door. The, the assailant demanded money. The, I am told that the helper went to an adjoining room uh, to search for some money, but whilst there she heard loud explosion, and when she returned to the spot where Mr. Donner was, she discovered him lying on the floor in a pool of blood. What I can say is that unclean brownstone is not one of those areas that we are seeing any upsurge in crime, and this incident, though remote, uh, may stem from an attempt home invasion robbery situation. So we're using the opportunity to appeal to the residents uh, who may have information that can help us to bring resolution to this matter. Then people, you know, say help a gang and look for shit put on. You are going for a gun. We can't leave this one right or so. I so revisit it. You understand? Because I have to go over Clarendon. I have to go over Clarendon because you don't need to hear this one. Ya. Imagine you send your picnic to school and you get called from doctor's office about your picnic. They say, you know, I would have never wished bad for nobody, you understand? But remember the good book say God not give more than you can bear. God don't go to bear them sitting here. Me I tell you the truth. Me I tell you the truth. Them are sitting here, me could be bear it, you understand? So you don't have to bear it and angle for no angle on yourself. Anyway, people, here we go and power go on now. A child is to undergo plastic surgery after he was stabbed in the face at the Claude McKay High School in Clarendon on Thursday. Our reporter spoke with the child's mother, who is not only distraught, but angry at the school's administration for how it handled the situation. An emergency phone call no parent wants to get. I got a call from the guidance counselor to say that he was stabbed. Mm -hmm. He said it was nothing serious, but after him going to the hospital in Alexandra and they assessed it and stitched it, it was something that needed plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. According to the teen who is in the 8th grade at the Claude McKay High School, he was stabbed by another student in the chin for allegedly walking too close to him. He wasn't able to describe the instrument used, only saying it was sharp. 
so sharp it required the doctors at the chest hospital to determine that surgery was the only option to repair the teen's chin. And so, the family journeyed from Clarendon to St. Andrew. They said I have to come back on Wednesday to assess it for the plastic surgery on Friday mm -hmm. at the Trust Hospital. Um, in how much would that cost you? That, would that be a cost you? I'm not sure because I didn't, I didn't um, ask about any price or, or nothing like that. Yeah. Um, you know, and do, do you have the finances to take care of something like that? No, no I don't. But the mother of two is also angry at the school's administration over its handling of the situation. I reached out to the principal and um, to ask him if it was reported. He said he was going to get to the Dean of Discipline and get back to me. So I went ahead and called the Frankfield Police Station and they said they have no records of it. That was on Thursday. And on Friday when our news team checked, the matter was still not reported by the school up to news time. SSP Carlos Russell, who heads the Clarendon Division, said the officers were sent to the institution after hearing about the issue. However, staff there said they had no knowledge of it. The mother of the injured child said the parent of the other child has apologized for the incident. I am very depressed at the moment because knowing that um, it could have been worse. I understand the parent had reached out to me to basically apologize, but um, <laughs> I can't take this lightly because he could have lost his life, as I said. In the meantime, the mother is calling for more intense screening at the school gates and programs to address violence in schools. The schools are really getting out of hand. The children are really getting out of hand. You understand? And it could have been worse, as I said. As a parent, I know how she might be feeling now, knowing that she's not the person that does the action that is the mother of the other child. But I am very upset. I am stressed, as I said, because I could have lost my child yesterday.